Um, Austin police officers ties to a pregnant murder victim are being scrutinized tonight. Samantha Dean was killed two weeks ago in Bastrop County. She was the victim services coordinator for the Kyle Police Department. She was also seven months pregnant with a girl she'd named Madeline. We told you last week Officer Vontre Clark was put on restricted duty in connection to the investigation into her death. Sources tell us Clark was seeing Dean socially. Clark's attorney tells us several APD employees have been questioned and the investigation does include other officers. The developments in this case got us looking into the role DNA could play in the case. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller found it could help answer a key question in this case, Kevin. Yes, and with all we're learning in this case, we still don't know who the father of Dean's unborn baby is. Labs use DNA to test for paternity. To see how the process works, we spoke with an expert whose company does these tests and has a history of working on high profile cases. In the mystery of Samantha Dean's death, one of the first questions, who is the father of the baby she was carrying? DNA may hold the answer. The DNA is really the same whether the child is born or not. We spoke with Dr. Michael Baird on the computer. He's in charge of the laboratory testing at the DNA Diagnostic Center based in Ohio. A lab first has to get a DNA sample from the mother and suspected father, then it's off for testing. How long until we hear results typically? The DNA testing that we do takes uh, a matter of days. Uh, our typical turnaround time is two days at, uh, at DDC. Uh, but once the samples arrive in the laboratory, it's a fairly straightforward process. Another source tells us backlogs can make it take longer to see results. How accurate would those be? Uh, they're very, very accurate. Uh, typically, you get uh, a probability of paternity if there's an inclusion of 99.999% or greater. Now, I also spoke with the presiding officer of the Texas Forensic Science Commission on the phone. Dr. Vincent DeMaio says if a lab does an extensive paternity test, the results are virtually foolproof. He also told me that a second autopsy is possible for a fetus in a homicide case. Now, we wanted to know if the medical examiner in this case did an autopsy for the unborn baby. The office was closed because of the holiday, but we intend to follow up tomorrow and we'll let you know the answer. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. It is also important to point out authorities believe the Dean crime scene was altered. According to documents obtained by KXAN, detectives determined Dean was not killed in the place where they found her body. Dean was originally discovered next to her car at an abandoned shopping center in Bastrop County. Investigators say her car was found with the door open and without back seats. They also found Dean's body with a bag over her head. KXAN will continue to update this case as more information develops. You can also find related coverage right now on KXAN.com.